Avery was the first reporter to alert the public to the devastating news. She joins us live from Rebel Road with more on her conversation with the man who found the girl's body. Avery? Well, now, when we arrived here this morning, the Mobile County Sheriff's Department, Pritchard Police, FBI, were all here gathering evidence. They were able to remove Hawaii Robinson's body from this road, Rebel Road, around 2.30 this afternoon, roughly two and a half hours after her body was found by a public works employee named Johnny Williams. Just before noon, Rebel Road was swarmed with law enforcement, crime scene tape going up as we arrive on scene. It was Pritchard Public Works employee Johnny Williams who made the call that brought everyone out to the scene, going on a gut feeling. Me and the, me and the fellow were riding down Main Street. I told him, I'm going to go check out on Gravel Road, see, see, see till we find, see what's over there on Gravel Road. He made his way down Rebel Road. I look on the left hand side and the little girl, she was right there laying on the ground. It was later confirmed the body he found was little Hawaii Robinson. If you're dead, you're dead, though. Like I'm gonna fall out myself. <laughs> Within minutes, a large crowd had gathered, finding out the devastating news. Many so understandably upset, they fall to the ground in despair and confusion. One person visibly upset, Senator Vivian Davis figures. With her hand on her heart, she cries as she realizes this search has come to a heartbreaking end. About 20 minutes after our arrival, everyone is pushed back to the end of the road, crowds staying for hours, at times their sadness turning to anger, as they wait to get answers to this tragic story. Now, right now, you are looking at folks who have gathered to pay their respects at the exact place where Hawaii Robinson was found. A lot of people driving by who didn't even know her. It's a true testament to this community as they continue to stick together through this heartbreaking story. Reporting live in Pritchard, Avery Cotton, News 5.